Hello, thank you so much for joining us today for Faces of First Year. If this is your first time joining us, what we do is we bring to you different Pimo Community College resources that are important to you as a first year student. So today we are featuring Pima Online, and that is really going to be helpful if you or someone you know is a long distance student, a virtual learner, or you are thinking about it. So that's gonna be what we're talking about today. I have some amazing individuals here to help discuss this topic. So go ahead and introduce yourself and what you do here at the college. Okay, my name's Jennifer Madrid. I'm the Student Affairs Supervisor for Virtual Student Services here at Pima. Hello everyone, my name is Anna Brown. I'm a program advisor for Pima Online, advising students with last names A through L. Hello everyone, my name is Angela Acosta, and I'm also a Pima Online a program advisor, advising students with last names M through Z. So as a program advisor, what is it that you do? So as program advisors, we advise students that are working towards one of our fully online certificate or degree programs. So right now we have over 20 programs of study that students can complete 100% online from the comfort of your own home. Mm -hmm. So those programs include uh, liberal arts, business, health information technology, human resources, accounting, and uh, education. Uh, so part of what our goals is as advisors is uh, making it super easy for you to know uh, what your plan of action is from your first semester at Pima. And we want to make it easy to know exactly what you need to do uh, mm -hmm. in order to graduate uh, on time and continue on uh, with your next goals. We want to help you stay motivated is one of the most important um, and favorite parts of our of our jobs. And uh, we work uh, with um, students that are both in Tucson, and because we, we do online, we also have students outside of state and even outside of the country. Nice. So if you're a Pima um, online or virtual student, they're not alone. They're not just hanging out there. They have advisors, here's the faces to see, um, who are going to be helping and advising them along the way with degree choices, course selection, and things like that. So Jennifer, is there also some um, some team members who can help students out in general? Yes, yeah, so I have the pleasure of working with Angela and Anna. They are um, completely 100% committed to your success. We also have a team of academic advisors who support virtual services. So if you have any issues or um, have any questions about the admissions process and, and getting through the registration process, you can absolutely reach out to my team as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can reach out through virtual support at pima.edu. Wonderful. So, Anna, what would you say is one key thing that first year students should know about your resource? I think it's important to know that you do have resources other than our learning centers here at the campuses. Um, you have access to NetTutor, which is available 24-7, 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're unable to come to the campus centers, you have that resource available to you. And they're professional tutors that are located throughout the world. And do they have to be a long distance student to use NetTutor? No. So this resource is actually available to all Pima students. Nice. And how would they find it? Where do they access NetTutor? Through their D2L or My Pima. Mm -hmm. It's a link through your course. Super simple. Mm -hmm. I love that. So Angela, when do you think a first year student should begin taking part in your resources? For current online students as early on as possible, if you want to today, we'd love to we'd love to hear from you. And it's never too early to have a conversation about what are your goals and making sure that the classes that you take here at Pima, as well as your program of study align with those goals. We understand your time and your investment in your education is valuable. So we wanna make sure that you know we um, help you uh, in that way. So we are available, again, as online advisors uh, for face-to-face -face appointments, a video conferencing and also um, phone. Uh, obviously, um, email is also another option to um, to contact us. 
And all that information about how to contact them is going to be on the Pima webpage for Pima Online. It lists all of the programs that they have available and again, how to get hold of them. And so that link is already in this event, but I'll make sure that it is there um, for you to view at any time. So Anna, you're Pima Online, but where are you re are located for students to be able to, you know, just get hold of you and work with you? So Angela and I do have offices here at West Campus. Mm -hmm. However, like Angela did say, we do offer virtual appointments through video. We also will set up appointments via phone if you're unable to do video mm -hmm. and in person. So we are available for you to come down to West Campus mm -hmm. and meet with us. And Jennifer, as far as where the resources are located, for that general team that you were talking about for virtual support, how could a student figure out how to get hold of them? They can either call, um, they can call 520-206-6408 mm -hmm. and that connects them to virtual support or again, you can email virtual support at pima.edu. And I think what's important for everyone to know is that whether you're in Tucson or not, my team is available to help you with the transactional um, or um, any advising um, questions or um, support that you need that you could come that you would need to come to a campus for. So we are our services are in lieu of coming physically to a campus. Gotcha. So really, any student, whether they're a campus or online student, they can call in or mm -hmm. email in to ask those general questions mm -hmm. of your team. But if you are an online virtual student, then you two are going Correct. to be the specific mm -hmm. advisors mm -hmm. that they work with to ask questions about their degree plan their classes, graduation. Exactly. Awesome. And again, you are going to be students with the last name A through L. Correct. And you're going to be M through Z. M through Z. Mm -hmm. I was going to have to sing the alphabet there. For a moment. <laughs> All right. Perfect. So, Anna, I just wondered if we were to describe a student's first year as if they were about to go on a summer vacation, because let's face it, it's almost summertime. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? I would describe your um, experience at Pima being a journey. So mm -hmm. traveling, you the anticipation of your trip, you know, there's that excitement of starting something new, mm -hmm. working towards your goals. Mm -hmm. um, with any trip, sometimes there might be delays. You might have a delayed air flight um, where you kind of weren't expecting to wait an hour or so. But that's education as well. Um, there's going to be hiccups, but we're here to help you along the way. Um, there's tutoring services, and we know your program inside out, so we'll be able to guide you through that, which is basically your final destination. Once you get there, it's all worth everything you went through. And it's like you two are the travel agents for yeah. them. Correct. I love that. <laughs> that's perfect analogy. All right, so to wrap this up, Angela, why do you think that this resource is important for first year students? Yeah, of course, thank you for that question. And for this, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, go back to probably my favorite all time uh, teacher from high school, uh -huh. um, Dr. Sheridan. He used to say in order for most of us to remember something, we have to hear it at least three times. Okay. So, so here it goes, talk to your advisor, talk to your advisor. <laughs> Talk to your advisor. Let's say it all together. Just to make sure we're like, so, sure. Talk, talk to your advisor. advisor talk, talk to your advisor. advisor talk, talk to your advisor. advisor. I like it. So we absolutely understand that coming to college involves a ton of steps and a ton of work, and you all live so incredibly busy, mm -hmm. alive. So it's okay not to have all the answers all the time. That's what we're we're here for, and uh, hearing from you is absolutely the best part of our jobs. So by all means, reach out to us if you have any questions about, again, what are your uh, degree uh, options and on online, what you need to take in order to graduate on time. But also if you have questions about what it means to be an online student and what are all of the resources that we have available for you. I know Anna did a great job explaining that Twitter. Um, by all means, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to be in great hands if you choose to be a long distance or virtual learner here at Pima Community College. Please do not hesitate to reach out and ask any questions that you might have. And again, that information is going to be loaded into this broadcast afterwards. Thank you so much for watching Faces of First Year, and we hope that you have a great day.